Furman consistently garners national attention for its campus aesthetics, set in motion over 50 years ago when the university moved to its current location. The enormous oak trees which line the mall provide a foundation for our landscape and activities from tailgates to concerts. Recent replacement of several trees in front of the James B. Duke Library brought plans to remove the trees to the forefront of discussion. Are we losing our claim to campus beauty and an essential element of our Furman family? We discuss the issue with two of Furman's experts on this subject. Any landscape requires sort of things to fit together and one thing complements another, but because of the scale of the trees, meaning the height and the width and how much space they take up, they're a very, very important part of our, our campus. As you can see in, in the background here, they sort of quiet the mind and especially now that the, the leaves are on the trees, so they're yeah. certainly a very important part of the landscape. Herman's campus, I think a lot of the benefits of trees are the, the feeling that it gives us of, of being connected to nature. It makes Furman a beautiful place. Having a beautiful campus gets Furman a lot of attention na nationally. And uh, I know you've probably heard, I don't know why you came to Furman, but there's a lot of students who come here and say, wow, it's just such a beautiful campus. I want to go there for college. And um, the trees have a lot to do with that. So I think that's part of their special importance to us here in Furman. Okay. All right. and... So the, uh, most of the trees on the mall um, were uh, one of uh, three or four species. It's mostly a thing called willow oak. Um, also some water oak, and in some areas there was some uh, pin oak and, and white oak. Um, apart from the white oak, all those others that I mentioned, the good thing about them is they grew really fast. So they grew really fast, but like most things that grow fast, it's like grow fast and die young. So we've probably known there were safety concerns maybe at least the last 10 years or so uh, and have been addressing those. We have a program that deals with taking care of limbs and safety issues every year. We have a company that comes and prunes our trees every year for safety concerns. So it's not as if this is anything new. Um, the replacement of the trees because of some of these concerns is what's really new. We are looking at doing Block, what we call blocks of trees. So for example, the first three years, we did the front gate block. So all the trees there were replaced over a three year period. Our next phase was Milford Mall. Because that was a very defined block, we were able to replace those in the block. Um, we will continue that as we move along. Um, there are, if you look on a site plan or an aerial photograph of our campus, there's some logical places to do that. There are blocks of trees in front of buildings. Uh, there are circles of trees that are circles. Right. So those are very logical blocks. And then as you look at the mall, there are some dividing places. Similar to right behind us, we have some roads that cut across the mall. That allows us some other blocks. We're just trying to do that again because of the spacing changes. And it's a little bit of a logical starting and stopping point. Uh, the first phase one was um, uh, right outside the main gate. And there they planted um, something called overcup oak, which is native to the southeast, uh, even more common down in uh, South Georgia and Alabama, but it grows around here too. And um, it's a very long-lived tree, low-maintenance tree, so they estimate that the trees they plant will last maybe 200 years. Um, eventually, I think it's going to be mostly overcup oak up and down the mall because those are slated for replacement eventually as well. The ones that they planted around the library that I started to mention, which they um, replaced over the winter break just a few months ago, uh, those are nutall oak, uh, Quercus texana, which as the scientific name suggests are actually native to Texas and the uh, southern Gulf region, so not quite into South Carolina, but would still consider it a native North American tree species.
Uh, some of the material has been used for mulch. Uh, the, uh, the smaller limbs are easier to grind and, and turn into mulch. Although to, to do that properly, it takes about a year. So we are sending that material out to folks that process that and create mulch. Um, some of the trees, uh, certainly early on, some of the trees have been uh, kiln dried and planed and we have used that wood for various things on campus. Not a tremendous amount of that wood, but some of that wood. Um, we're looking at a few other options uh, with, with the bigger, more substantial trunks that are, are healthy. I say healthy, no decay, you know, in the middle of the trunks. Uh, I know we have cut some of the wood for mantles. That takes a little time because you have to dry the wood and cut the wood and so forth. And we're looking at some other ways to have something small as you know, gifts or things that can help us raise funds. So every bit of it's being used one way or another. It's just a little difficult to tell you which, which, which uh, process is going to happen in which year. It just depends on what we do. Yeah. On the good side, we lose some dangerous situations. Um, on the bad side, we lose a little bit of history. Obviously, these trees have been here for almost 60 years. These trees are, if we do our math correctly, maybe 70 years old. Um, we lose a little bit of um, what I would say wow factor because of the size of the trees. You know, when you come on campus, there's, there's quite a wow factor because of the, they're so tall. But on the other side, because of the issues with the trees, really since they were planted, uh, we're going to solve some problems which will allow us to have trees when, that are planted that are maybe 12 years old or so that will be here for 200 years. Yeah. Uh, Furman is thinking long term now. They're not just thinking short term. They understand that this campus needs to have its trees, that they have great value to us, um, they also understand that maintaining sick trees is expensive and that's not smart use of our financial resources. And so they're planting trees to be sure that we have healthy big trees for centuries into the future, longer than any of us will actually live.